What's up? This is Jessica Sanchez, and you're you're watching me on Mike and Jesse. We are here at the Pinoy Relief Benefit Concert at Madison Square Garden. Jessica is just hours away from taking the stage alongside other huge artists, Je Jennifer Hudson, Pentatonix, A Great Big World, and of course, the one and only Jessica Sanchez. Now, you are gearing up to go back to the Philippines. Uh, why is this cause so important to you? Because these are like my people. You know, it's kind of like my, my homeland, even though I've just been like visiting a couple times. Um, these people have really been there for me. They've been like such big supporters for me um, when it comes to my music. And I just kind of want to give back to my country, you know, in any possible way that I can. What are you performing tonight? Um, Let It Go from Frozen, um, with the original composer, which is amazing. And then uh, Clarity by Zed. Awesome. So a little dance and a little, you know. Guys, I have known Jessica for almost 10 years. Yeah. I can't believe it. Do you remember how we met? Uh, we, we met online yeah. first, but then like officially meet each other in person. We like, went to like a restaurant. Yeah, we went to the Ivy. He got me gifts and I was like, oh my gosh, I loved it. And then we started walking down the street in Hollywood and I was just smacking my dog. <laughs> We actually met on MySpace. I had been posting videos about Jessica on my website, and she wrote me like a quick little comment just saying, Thank you so much for posting about me. Because she was eight at the time. She was, any press was good press. And yeah. um, I was even where I was then. And uh, and so, yeah, we went to uh, the Ivy and had a great day, and we've been friends ever since. So. Oh, yeah. If I... We, uh, we had Jessica's fans tweet in questions using hashtag Ask Jessica. So the first question comes in from Nori Joseph asking, are you going to release another single from your debut album? Um, like I said, I'm working on the second album right now. Um, I thought that my first album was absolutely amazing. I had so many amazing producers and songwriters on it that I just hate the fact that it wasn't out there as much as it should have been. Um, but I love the music, but you know, right now I'm kind of focusing on the second album. Second question comes from From Impossible. What is your favorite part about writing new music? Well, I haven't gotten to writing yet. I actually pretty much never wrote in my life. Okay. It's kind of hard for me. Um, I'm taking like I'm observing the songwriters right now that I'm going into like writing sessions and stuff. But um, I think it'll be a fun experience, Definitely. and uh, I have a lot of stories to tell. So mm -hmm. hopefully, I can write that and um, kind of interpret it into my music awesome. later on. All right. Next question comes in from Dib Sauce. <laughs> what is? Uh, is this person's asking, what is your thought on um, your single reaching over 10 million views on YouTube tonight? It's insane. <laughs> it's like ridiculous because I'm just like, I feel like Jessica from when you met. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm still on a grind and I'm still hustling and working hard to get to the top and I feel like I have still so much to accomplish, mm -hmm. but this is like crazy to crazy. accomplish this. Ten million. It's Ten million. Crazy. Now you were telling me before we we sat down that a lot of your fans keep asking you about driving. They want to know: Have you gotten your license? Are you gonna get your permit? Like, what's happening with your driving situation? I hate myself for this <laughs> because I'm such a procrastinator when it comes to driving. I should be on the road, but I am so scared because everybody's like so paranoid about the LA. Traffic right. and the drivers are a little aggressive over there. But, um, all right, what car would you get? We were talking about this too. Me and my mom were talking about this, and we're like, maybe we should like get a Range Rover or something. But I live by like a bunch of car dealerships, and like they got Maseratis there, and Bentleys, and Ro Rolls Royce. And I'm like, <laughs> I think I like that better, but I'd probably crash it real quick. <laughs> if you had a Bentley, what color would it be? I like like creamy pink. All right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not really much of a girly kind of girl, but she's trying to awesome. catch her ride in dirty. All right. <laughs> uh, that kid, Summer, wants to know, Jessica, will you go to high school senior prom with me? How do you even answer that question? I, it's kind of hard. <laughs> right? uh, I've been asked this question a lot of times, and it's kind of hard with my schedule. You know, being always busy. I would definitely love to go to prom with these with you. <laughs> with um, you, that kid summer. Yeah, that kid summer. <laughs> um, I just don't know if I'll be in town. I mean, where's he from? Do you know? I don't know. Uh, well, you gotta hit me up. You hit Tell him up. Tell me where you're hit at. Him up. If you're All in right. LA, then you know maybe my happen. <laughs> maybe. Okay. And final question from Twitter. Um, Bear my thoughts wants to know what is one song that defines your life. Um, that defines what I, you know what, and it's not even like the lyrics that define it, it's just the song itself, um, I Will Always Love You, because I've been singing that song ever since I was a little girl, and um, I sang it on Idol, and that was kind of like 
one of my highlight moments. I mean, that song has just been with me for like a long time. Totally. So. And Wait. to be able to sing that and to, and to do it justice. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's a big compliment. I mean, every time somebody says that, I'm just like, wow, thank you, because I mean, nobody can even reach Whitney's like totally. level. <laughs> What's been one standout highlight for you um, in 2013? I can't really choose. It's no, like okay. so many freaking things that I've done. <laughs> I was on Glee too. I mean, I'm not even an actress, but right after I got off of Idol, um, the the director of Glee called me and was like, "Hey, will you be on the show?" I'm like, "What?" I'm like, of course I'll go. I don't know how to act, but uh, I'll go. I'll do it. And I was on the show, which is like crazy. I just, I feel so blessed and so like lucky to be in this position that I'm in. So, you thank are, you, Blue Jays, too, yeah. for all the help. I love you guys.